So we're going to show putting the cock on the strap-on itself. Uh, which one do you want to use? Oh. You want to use the seven-incher? Okay. Go big or go home. Yeah. If you're interested in enhancing your sexual connection with yourself or with your partner or partners, we really recommend you head on over to our website, connorandbrittany.com, and check out our sex ed area. Our sex ed area has a bunch of up close and personal videos that we show the action behind the theory that we talk about here on YouTube. We feel super sex positive. We love how much this has enhanced our own relationship, relationships with others, and we'd love to share it all with you. We'll see you over there. Hey, beautiful people. My name is Connor. And I am Brittany. And today we're going to talk about strapping it on. Strapping on the penis. <laughs> So, so um, on today's episode of Strapping It On, Penis. Yes, Connor. Wait, you got a hair on your penis. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. So in today's video, we're going to talk about strap-ons. We're going to talk about pegging. We're going to talk about the how-tos. We're going to talk about a couple of products from Adam and Eve that you can check out that um, we actually think are They're the, great. the best strap-ons we've ever played with. And what else are we going to talk about? Maybe like, you know, some, some, some like, uh, often questions. Oh, oh yeah. Some commonly asked questions. Yeah. Commonly yeah. asked questions. Like particularly like, well, how do you prepare for that? Yeah. Or, we'll talk about you know, that. how, how can we, uh, how can we do it? This is going to be a very thorough strap on video. However, <sighs> I will say that if you want the most thorough form of this video, check out our sex ed website. We played with these toys, showed you guys how it went down and just like have a lot of in-depth information if you're definitely wanting to do this. Yeah, and the sex ed videos that we make, they are like this, but more awesome and longer awesome. and with a lot more detail and we get naked as well. So you really get to see what we're talking about. We also talk about what we're we going to do about it and about afterwards we talk about what we did so we didn't miss anything. Um, but you really get to see all the ins and outs. No buts about it? No, definitely buts about it. <laughs> <laughs> you got the puns today. You want to show? Uh, you want to show these? Let's things show the have? the couple of toys that Adam and Eve sent us. This box was a lot less haggard before we ripped into <laughs> it. Heat <laughs> of the moment. Um, um, but yeah, these are the two the two products that we're going to talk about today. And this one's the full set. Lots of cool things in there. And this one is basically just the harness. Just the harness and three rings on that one. This is the full set. And uh, we'll put links to both of these products in the description box so you can check them out. Do you want to start with maybe this set? Yes. So we can show all the things. Let's do that. Okay. Right. So, Doc Johnson, what do you got for us? Well, Doc Johnson, um, go ahead, Brittany. I was just going to say, by the way, excited. Adam and Eve, thank you so much for sending us this stuff. Yeah, you guys are awesome. We really love partnering with them, and uh, we have a discount code for you guys if you want. Okay, so they sent us free shipping. in the Doc Johnson kit you get some things a cleaner for your toys a lube which we did use and it's quite it quite, quite nice. good and some refresh powder which I don't really know too much about we didn't refresh um, and this guy is a powder little squirt thing you cut the top off and you use it in your toys uh, in your vacuum lock system which we'll talk about a little bit so that the vacuum lock can go in and come off easily without tearing the, the material it came as well with obviously the harness which we have sized down to my size and we cut the straps because they were really long yeah i mean it, it seems like it seems like it's designed for very full figured bodies and it can also be on nice teeny slim bodies too i mean everybody is nice but i just added the nice because I just came out. You just wanted to compliment me, maybe? Yeah, good. Um, it came with these two bases to put the penises on. They're both a little different. Yeah, so this one uh, actually buckles in side of the of the harness. It, it, it has these buckles. There's four buckles. Snaps. Snaps. They snap in, and then it goes through, and it snaps around again on the ring and holds it in. So this particular one is really, really strong. Uh, then this one would just go on like right below the ring as opposed to inside here this it's pretty obvious when you get it what we're talking about but just in case this is definitely the most secure system i've seen with like yeah. 
having this velcroed compartment in the back and then having this base actually strap in mm -hmm. and I did feel like it held really nice and tight to my pelvis sometimes we've found with the ones that are just vacuum lock and don't have the ring or the snaps that kind of you know, hangs off just a little bit and it's hard to feel like I'm fully embodying right. the whole piece so it comes with three rings three different size rings one of them's on there these are the other two these would go around the penis so you would slide this down on the penis and then you would just put your snaps through there and it just helps kind of cinch it down so once this is once this has the plug inside of it the vacuum lock plug maybe i'll show that to you right now it'll get kind of bigger so that this ring doesn't come off so the vacuum lock system how that works is it's just like, like a little tier tiered thing here and as you push it in it kind of seals up so you just slide this fella on and that's where you'd use that powder if you needed to if you're having trouble getting it on and just like that and then the ring you'd put your your snaps around it and then snap it to it you'd have this slidden down just a little bit there okay one little thing before we go on to the main event of the penises uh, these cute little kind of like did those come did they those did. come with the Johnson or the or the other one? I believe they came with the jo the Johnson. Oh yeah. They I know they look like they belong on the other one, but yeah. there's actually these cute little oh. straps right here on oh, the back. That. So if you wanted to link it into your lingerie, oh well, how do you do? You could do that, but I took it off for now. So we'll show you the harness on and everything. Um, oh yeah, sure. It came with the, the three penises, of course. Let's uh, talk about them because they're all a little different and they deserve their due something do talk about thank you <laughs> in in ascending size yeah so uh they are all different sizes five and a half six and seven uh this is seven this is the six and this is the five and a half which came with so testicles. even though the testicle one is like the same size the actual ability for it to go in would only be five and a half because of the balls. Oh, good point. So that's why it's five and a half. Um, oh, this the material of these is incredible. We've played around with a lot of different toys and many of them will feel like they have the ability to sort of stick upon insertion because of the material. These are definitely yeah. the most skin-like. Yeah, I've experienced. or like some toys that just have, they're supposed to kind of have some give, but they don't. It's not like they were designed like glass dildos or something that aren't don't have any, any give. There are some toys, like some dildos that are supposed to be kind of soft, but actually turn out to be pretty hard, especially in the anus, like where it's really sensitive. It so these, man, these are like flesh. These are like... As soon as we touched them, we were both like, oh my god, that's so hot. I know. I noticed now after we washed them, they're feeling they're, stickier. They're a little stickier, yeah. When we first got them, they felt like so Really smooth. You could just like rub them right on your skin. But I think once um, once you lube them up and um, get them ready to go, then that stick will kind of go away. Want to show this other harness? Yes. Okay. So now going to this one, the sports sheet harness. I really wanted to get a harness that looked beautiful. And this one is beautiful and also really comfortable to wear. So it's really similar. It's got this beautiful, cute little thing going on in the background. So this one came with three rings. It doesn't have the the second option of putting of snapping on that um, that other vacuum lock base that we showed you. So you would have to use this base that came with the the Doc Johnson. So this one would just go right below that ring and snap it on. And then you would slide your cock over that. I thought, because my experience with other strap-ons has been that without... I thought that it wasn't going to be as secure, basically. But actually it was. Yeah, It totally was, was quite secure. So if you did get a harness like this, it would be important to purchase the vacuum lock system and then the penis that you wanted. Right. So that's one thing, cool thing to mention about these systems is this can take a, a whole variety of different dildos. So you just look for any vacuum lock dildo and you can get a ton of different varieties. So once you get your harness and your base set up, then you can play around with all sorts of different sizes and colors and all that kind of stuff. Well, let's talk about why we enjoy strap-ons, why we enjoy pegging. We get that question a lot. I think some people are really into it and they get it and then a lot of people 
haven't had the experience with it or that it's just this far off notion that seems kind of maybe scary or foreign mm -hmm. or they're curious about it or they feel grossed out by it or maybe it means a certain thing you know it has more meaning than just like the desire itself and I think that's the thing about sexuality is that it doesn't have to have much more meaning than you just kind of want it you know or you want to try it out we have these beautiful bodies with all these nerve endings this this ability to connect with other people which I think we're all super excited about doing because that's what humans do we connect and I think sometimes we just want to play around with that and see what that feels like and these different options that are available to us. So for me, I think that has always been uh, an exploration that's unfolded. Like the more comfortable I've been with that idea, um, the more I've allowed myself to, to just try different things out. I feel like for me, it's felt so natural and exciting to step into this role that I feel like I can take on when I put on the strap on mm -hmm. and when I have the penis on when I have a cock mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that it has to be that way every time or that I have to be embody embodying more of my masculinity but I do love how I feel empowered to do that that's one of my favorite things to play around with that way um Gosh, though, there's just like a million things I love about it. I've always loved wearing a harness in mm. general. It feels really good. I've always wanted to feel what it felt like to have a cock. But it's not necessary. Sometimes we'll be making love or and I'll feel like I am the one with the cock even when I'm not wearing a strap on. Yeah, totally. But it's amazing to have this ability to do that. And I have really always wanted to be able to like, you know, fuck your ass. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I can and and it's not and I don't just wear the strap on you know we can both wear the strap on and play with it in mm -hmm. a variety of ways which yeah. is super fun yeah and I and I love like being able to step into a more feminine role or like submissive yeah. role however you want to look at it it's fine um, and it feels really good for me to be like held or to be more controlled or to feel like I can just chill and I also don't like that all the time I mean yeah. we just switch things up all, all the, time, the time and that feels best for us some people I think, you know, have, have decided like they know what they like and they're going to stick to that. And that is so cool. Do that. Yeah. Um, this is just an area that, you know, if it's like been in the back of your mind, we want to make a video for YouTube for everyone to be able to see to just encourage you to like, hey, that's go for it. You know, like that's all good. You can you can play with those cravings in a healthy way. And uh, I think one of the ways that we can do that is by just talking about it and sharing experiences candidly and openly. And lovingly, because at the end of the day, it's like really what Brittany and I are, are all about. This is a very loving space. Oh my this gosh, is one of so like the most vulnerable spaces you can be in as any human being to have something, you know, somebody playing with your ass. It's like very, very vulnerable. It's so tender. And what you get with vulnerability when you share it with people is like you get a big reward when it's when it's done in a safe, healthy way. And it's like you, you can feel some healing and some growth happening. A lot of intimacy is shared between us intimacy. in that space. Yeah. I think that I really want to cut through this idea that there's some weird taboo around this, like it has to be a foreign concept or like scary or weird because like you said, for us it really is just another space to play and mm -hmm. to express intimacy and, and be open to trying new things with each other. And it feels really good. You know, we've made some videos on prostate stimulation and ass play. And so, you know, it has elements of both of those, but it's also its own unique thing. So uh, it is hitting the prostate sometimes, but it's not necessarily constant prostate for stimulation. You. Right, for, for me. For, the, for a male-bodied um, person who has a prostate, it will most likely feel really good because you're hitting this prostate. And, uh, and it can also just feel good because the anus has so much... Um, ner so many nerve endings, so much sensitivity, and uh, and it also can just feel good to just lay back and take a dick. Receive. Yeah. It's also a really tender space, so this is a more, I guess, advanced video of ours on ass play. If you haven't seen one of those and you're wanting to get into ass play, we really recommend checking one out because we talk about a lot of things. And yeah. You don't want to just stick a dick in your ass no, you if really you've don't. never played with your ass. Mm -mm. It's really important to cultivate a loving open space gently and to ease into that with toys or small fingers or just 
a number of different things. Absolutely. And Lots to have of lube. a lot of sensitivity, a lot of awareness as the person who's playing with somebody else's asshole. That's like a really sensitive area. Like be really gentle, check in a lot, be very kind, you know, like I think for me, receiving a lot of positive feedback, like, I love your asshole, it's so beautiful, yeah. like, smells good, like, I don't know, anything that's true for you that you feel like could, could just feel good for the other person to receive would probably be really nice. So we're going to show you how to put the cock on the strap-on. Um, it does have the ring system, but we don't actually have to use the ring system with this guy because it's buckled into place. If you were going to use the ring system, you'd just take the ring off and slide it down on the cock then you'd put this on, then you'd buckle in the ring. For these purposes, we're just gonna skip that part. It takes a little while to like take those snaps off and put them on, so. So you would get a little bit of your powder, spray a couple, and slide that on. And that's it. And then you step into your harness, and we already sized this one for me. The cool thing about these harnesses is that they're, they're open so that you can still play with genitalia. We had one that was like, it rode up the butt, it's kind of like a thong, and uh, that, that wasn't as cool because if you wanted to play with somebody's pussy, um, it was just pretty challenging to do. Also, it would have been pretty challenging for me to wear, and that's another cool thing about these is you can, with a penis, wear another penis, and that is a really, really fun and exciting thing to do. Really fun. Yeah, I, I love the way this one is in the back around my ass, like Connor was saying, yeah. with that openness in between. Yeah, you want to show that? Like, yeah. So this is the back, and it goes up here. Like, if you've ever worn a climbing harness, it's really similar. So this is all open down here. And then in the front, it's open right below here. So you can access the vagina, or you could have a, another cock, which, is, which would be your own, popping out there. Yep. And here's here it is. Here it is in all its glory. How's it feel on you? It feels good. I feel like I could just tighten it a little better, which I would do if I were going to perform with it, because it's just not totally ideal in this very moment. But <laughs> it feels good. Just sitting here with my cock. <laughs> it looks so normal. It does. <laughs> it feels really good for me to wear a harness, too. I wanted to share with you some of the things I like when Connor's wearing his. We've done all kinds of fun things. One is like you can put one cock in each hole. Mm -hmm. You can try for two cocks in one hole. And it's totally like too overwhelming, like not going to happen. But like there's something about the like something about the idea of it that can be nice and playful. And some people can, you know, right. do that. And that's awesome. Of course. Um, yeah, but like. Probably most likely, I think most commonly, it would probably be a little too much for most people. And so it's just like Brittany said, kind of the idea of it and like rubbing it in there, like kind of trying, but like not, not in, in a way that's going to hurt uh, unless that's kind of what you're going for in sure. a fun way. Yeah. Strap-ons are just so fun because it's they're like... They're versatile. They're versatile and it's like playing around with a sex toy, but it's a sex toy that you wear and can embody right, right, and right. be more in tune with as you're playing with it with a partner. Yeah. It's so fun. They're awesome. Uh, they've gotten so affordable, and there's just so many options out there. As we said, all this stuff is from Adam and Eve. We have a discount code that you can use. We realize there's a ton of information here to cover on ass play and specifically strap-ons. Yes. So if you want more details, like we said, we really encourage you to head over to ConnorAndBrittany.com. Check out the sex ed uh, area check out the strap-on video and we'll give you all the details that you might be curious about in that video. Yeah, we talk about how we prep, how we clean up, all the ins and outs and everything in between. I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. Okay. Thank Love you guys, you guys for watching. See ya. Mwah.